I gotta be real careful. Real no. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Yoshi's Stack and welcome back to more Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we fought off the game's optional super boss, Culex, also known as the giant Final Fantasy reference in this game, because, I mean, even the boss theme was a, a music from a Final Fantasy game. I still don't know which one, I didn't look it up, and that episode hasn't gone up yet as of time of recording, so no one's told me. In any case, that was all we did last episode, because that boss fight took a long time, and while we're still on that subject, I want to note something, because I completely forgot to mention uh, what the Quartz Charm, which was the item we got after beating Culex, does. And what it does is that it halves the damage taken to the character wearing it, it also uh, doubles their attack power, and it guards against mortal blows. You might be wondering why I put it on Bowser instead of someone I use more consistently like Gino, and uh, mostly it was to give Bowser just a little boost, and also just because if I want the power boost the Quartz Charm gives, I can just use Gino boost on Gino, and it stacks with the the buff the belt already gives him. Also, the Jinx belt, unlike the Quartz Charm, not affected by Shredder, which just means it won't be something I have to worry about later on. I just wanted to go over that because I realized I forgot to mention it completely after we got it. I was just so caught up in the fact that we won, I guess. Anyway, now with all of that taken care of, in this episode, we are finally moving on. We came back to Nimbus Land only for us to immediately leave because it's time to head back to Bowser's Keep. After all this time, and we do that by talking to this dude. The bus has finally been repaired. We can start operating again. Prince Mallow! We want to go to Bowser's Keep. Could you give us a lift, please? I've heard the story from King Nimbus. You'll be there in no time. After all this time... Here, here it comes, here it comes. After all this time, we're finally going to take the bus just as Mallow's dad wanted him to. So, how's the engine running? Oh, it's purring like a kitten. Can you take Prince Mallow to the entrance of Bowser's Keep? Of course, can't wait to get this thing running again. Come, Prince, hop on board. Let's go. Mallow, you can finally jump, congratulations. After you realized you're not a frog. All aboard. We're off. Yay, we're on the bus! I don't think that's most people's response to riding a bus, but I guess it's the royal bus, so maybe it's better than actual public transit. <laughs> Here we go. Man, everyone's just... Everyone's just there watching. I guess they don't have anything better to do? Like, did we spread the word that we were heading back here? Or did they just know? we go. Yeah, everyone's gonna celebrate! <laughs> Feels like it's been a million years since we've been here. Ah, the scent of boiling lava. It's so nice to be home. Smithy's gonna stay for peace. Oh my god. <laughs> Smithy's gonna pay for stealing my splendid castle for me. It's been a million years since we've been back here. Alright, let's get a move on. Is there... okay. I thought there was a thing there. There's not. Alright, let's move on. Oh man, they've even recolored the enemies that were here at the beginning. The Forkies are in rapture! <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm glad we immediately have another recolor of an enemy that we just fought. And we also have the Terracotta. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, it's dead. I guess, I guess we're gonna un-enrapture the Forky. Joppel and Forky sure are names for these enemies. The Forkies have come to their senses. And Bowser's gonna be like, get out of here. Yeah, that is a much better amount of damage Bowser is doing than he was, uh, like in the volcano. So the, the Quartz Charm is doing its job. Oh, you're not dead yet. You will be after this. See, that would have been a perfect moment for Bowser to have uh, done a sunken ship Hurley Gloves move and uh, 
just missed. I'm glad he didn't. Got a sleepy bomb. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna find a bunch of recolored enemies in this area. Get ready for that. Oh boy, this room! Being a recolored enemies, here's some, some Goombas that look like they may need to go to a doctor? Goo Goomba. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's gone now. HP max, cool. And Star Cruster. It's just another crab. I don't know why there's a crab in Bowser's Castle, but it's dead now. And Gino got attack up, which is cool. And we're gonna attack the Porky. Porkies have come to their senses. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh! I don't, I don't like that. That was disturbing. Get out of here. Uh, you didn't listen to me. I said, get out of here. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna listen to Gino. <laughs> Shoot you in the face. Now this room where I criticized the the shoddy bridge construction, which they've they've replaced it with something still kind of shoddy. Oh, thank God! I definitely thought I was gonna fall in the lava again. That still didn't damage me. Okay, good. I wouldn't put it past the game to change that mechanic already. Oh God! More more recolors. Oh! Malakoopa and Tubbo Troopa! Fun. I, I do love that we're getting recolors of enemies that we just fought. They're just like, eh, we want to reuse these enemy designs right now. Got lucky. Bowser's scaring the monster. So this is why I have Bowser out. One, because it's thematically appropriate. I'm not doubling my experience points. One, because it's thematically appropriate, and I mean, if I did it at... The Nimbus Castle, may as well do it here. Um, but yeah, Bowser has a chance to scare off the monsters in battle. It doesn't work with all of them to my knowledge, but the ones that look like they should work, so the Koopas and Goombas and such, they'll see Bowser and be like, oh god, that's my boss! I gotta get out of here. Which, I mean, that's a fair reaction to seeing your boss. Oh, oh no, the Goombas were waiting for me. Okay, well, we made it through this room, which, uh, which is further than we got at the beginning of the game. And you may be like, where do we go? This is a door. Oh, someone needs to pay the electric bill. Smithy decided not to invest in any light bulbs. And uh, maybe that works for him. It doesn't work for me. Why well, I went after the Forky without, and I didn't mean to, but whatever. The Forkies have come to their senses. Um, let's do Bowser Crush. And why? That did nothing to the Forky. Cool. I still hate that. Did not listen to my opinion of uh, how I felt about that, and I don't appreciate it. Goodbye. Don't need the Forkies in my life. <laughs> Got enough forks at home. That reminds me, though, when I was a kid. Uh, Got another fight. When I was a kid, um, at one point, my parents were just like, we don't have any clean forks, and like we looked in the in the sink and the dishwasher, and there was just like no forks there at all. We ended up having to use some plastic forks we had bought for some maybe it was like some school event. Turns out my older brother had like almost all of them upstairs. Why he had all the forks up there? Who knows? I certainly don't. But uh, yeah, that was a whole thing. Uh, this is gonna be a thing too. That's not your name! Um... Okay. <laughs> that guy seemed to be having an identity crisis or something, I don't know. Oh, this guy's gonna try and scare us. Oh, the second one got us, oh no! Oh, this is a lot of them, too. Uh, okay. You know what I say to all of these enemies? Chase the rainbow! I did it too early. Now, now you taste the rainbow. That didn't- that almost worked in all of them, but Bowser's gonna scare the remaining ones. Good work, team! <laughs> I think the thing with, uh, Bowser scaring the minions, though, is that, you know, you don't get experience points for them, which I mean makes sense, you didn't fight them. This is the room I was thinking of. There's something here... There's some coins, which I mean, we're not gonna say no to those, because as far as I'm aware, we didn't have a ton of money. Did we? We're 60, that's not bad. And full heal, nice. Got a save block. 
And Croco? Man, what is he doing here? I guess we're gonna find out. Are we gonna fight? Hey Mario, do you remember to use the save point? You, you just watched me do it. Plenty of danger up ahead, so it's best to save now. Need anything? I've got some items to sell. How did Croco uh, get in here? That's that's my question. Um, I don't think we need any of these. Got five of those, four of those. We should be good. Thanks anyway. All right, welcome to the main gimmick of Bowser's Keep the second time around. There are six doors. Do you need an explanation? Yes. Of the six doors, two open onto action courses. You can handle a lot of action, right? Two others will lead you to battle courses. You can fight, right? The last two open onto puzzle courses. No sweat for a great puzzle solver like you, right? Once you choose a course, there's no turning back. The only way to know what's behind a door is to walk through it. You must pass four of the six courses to move ahead. So these four doors, uh, as the game just noted, have different courses behind all of them, and we have to complete four of them. Now, it can be any of these four. We don't have to do them, any of them specifically, but it just has to be four total. And I don't know what's behind all of these, and there are prizes at the end of all of them. Four of them are a bit more important than the others, so I guess we'll see what we get into. So, uh, let's go, I guess. Start with one. Okay, we got a battle room. Oh, red magic Koopa. Terracotta. And now's the part where I get to talk about, um, I guess, anything? I mean, I, I don't- am I gonna show all these battles? I don't know yet! This is the professional at work here. Uh, you know, me not knowing what I'm doing before it and Bowser's just gonna scare the rest of the monsters off. So maybe it won't be worth showing some of these off- Maybe it won't be worth showing off some of these battles anyway, because Bowser just scares all of them off. But you know what? I'm okay with that. It makes my life easier. I think there are three rooms per course? I- I don't remember exactly. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. So I think there's gonna be three rooms of just fighting enemies, which is, you know, enthralling gameplay to watch. I mean, it's fine to play too, but... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to think of things to talk about. Which, uh... If you've been watching this far, you know is not my strong suit. Right. Next set of statues. Ooh, we can, we can get stabbed in the face. Oh, Big Bertha? I thought that was a fish. Nope, the game is being weird in general. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first weird name choice we've seen in these games. All right, get out of here. I don't think Bowser's gonna spook off a cannon. I could be wrong. I didn't block that. I don't remember what the timing is on that. I think it's weird. It's at, like, some point after the explosion, and I don't remember where. Defense up. Cool. Shoot him in the face. Oh, God. Please. Nope. Nope. Didn't time that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Bowser leveled up. Nice. Um, what else can we choose? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Oh, Peach, or Toadstool, whatever her name is, uh, leveled up too. We're also gonna pick that. Alright, cool. Another set of statues. <laughs> it's a dog! At least we leveled up from that one, so it was, uh, marginally more interesting. Not enough to make- let me put it in the video, but, you know. At least we got something out of it. Gino did not level up yet. I'm sure he will in the next one. Which, uh, we're gonna start right now. Oh good! Not the bees! <laughs> you know, since we're here, I may as well show off Ultra Flame. Watch, this won't even work on these enemies, but I haven't shown it off yet. May as well do it. I haven't shown off Ultra Jump either, but it's- it's the same idea, just... As super jump, you just can hit everyone. Yeah, we did it. Go team! And now Gino leveled up! 
It was, see, it was, it was totally worth it. I mean, I guess, in a sense. Oh, not the geckos. More uninteresting battles. <laughs> Let's get into more. What's this one gonna be? Ooh, a bomb. The most interesting thing that happened in that fight was a train passed by my house that was super loud. Not loud enough to get picked up on my mic. Super loud. And this is not gonna be super interesting. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll include this one because at least this one, everyone can taste the rainbow. I didn't time that right. It doesn't matter. They're all dead. I don't know why they didn't all disappear at once, but they're dead. That's the important part. Well, more dead than they were before, because they were they were just bones. Which I mean, I relate to as a, as a fellow skeleton. Oh, good, more more old enemies. Okay. So many fights. Is this the last one? Oh God, I don't like that symbol. Not another demon. I get to jump on it, Chester. Nobody asked for this. jump for when I got the attack scarf. Wow! Okay! I... Wow! I'm... Oh... That's the best that kind of fight has ever gone. I am so proud of myself. Wow, okay. What a way to end off that room. And for all our trouble, we get the Drill Claw for Bowser, which is Bowser's best weapon in the game. Which, yes, the trend here is some of these rooms have the best weapon for these characters in the game. You can come back and do them later, but I really don't want to miss out on them, on them now. So, uh, hopefully we don't. Anyway, moving on to the next room. Okay, back here again. Which door do we want to pick? Um... We did one. Let's go for five. Oh god, it's an action course. Okay. Okay, so the, the, the Koopas are showing us a trick that if we jump, we can briefly see our path, and I have the world's worst controller, so trying to keep on this path is gonna be a nightmare. Fright Bomb? Um, when did I get a mushroom? I don't remember that. Um, I don't, we're not, we're not gonna use a Fright Bomb. Goodbye. Those coins are traps and not worth it, especially when we already have almost the max amount of money we can. Cool. Okay. Oh my god. I am so terrified that I'm gonna fall in the lava. And you do get ten tries. The game is nice in that way. It doesn't immediately um, kill you. We're gonna get rid of this mushroom because I... The only reason I would have had a mushroom otherwise would be for the mushroom boy thing which we're in the final area now so i'm not going back to to do that oh no okay the game okay at least the game put me back here okay what's in here ice bomb i would probably use that over the sleepy bomb um so we'll get rid of the sleepy bomb okay i gotta be real careful Real no! Oh my god. Oh, I was right on the edge there. I'm sorry that this is not the best way to play this, but my D-pad is awful. What do we get here? Oh, rock candy. That's worth holding on to. Okay. We're getting rid of the bright card. We're not going back to the casino. Goodbye. Okay, made it. Okay. Good. Made it through the first room. Oh, good lord. Platforms. I don't love this. Okay, they at least freeze when you transition onto a new, a new one. Do I want to risk getting these chests? That's a very good question. 
Um, whatever is in them cannot be worth it. We've got plenty of great items already. It's, I mean, maybe it's more rock candies, but like, we have the star egg, which is already a pretty good rock candy. Um, a heal? No. Uh, well, okay. I will use this maple syrup just to clear out some inventory space. Okay. Got eight chances. What's going on here? Oh. How, how much do you like Donkey Kong? And I don't mean like Donkey Kong Country. I mean like the original Donkey Kong, which I've only ever played um, a couple times in my life. Oh my god. Okay. See, they, they've even got they've even got discount Donkey Kong up there. Where, you know, no copyright infringement is intended. Got him! Oh my god. Okay, we did that first- we did that room first try. It was just the first room that tripped us up. Probably got tripped up more in the second room if I had bothered with getting the chest, but whatever is in those cannot be worth it. We got the super slap. If we didn't have the frying pan for Peach, that would be a good equip to put onto her. We do have the frying pan though, so that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Okay. Two doors down. Two to go. What do I want to pick? Um, let's go. And let's go for door two. Another action course. Okay. Okay, we, we made it on to here. Please don't die. It feels like Mario locks onto the platform a little bit, which is... Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay. Um... What is up here? I walk very slowly. Oh my god. See, I, I didn't even move my finger and Mario started veering off to the side there. I hate it. Kira Kira Cola. Uh, that's okay. I won't say no to it. Okay, made it to the door. That's good. Oh god, this room. Oh, this is reversed. I don't, I don't, oh my god. There's so much happening. Whatever's in these chests, um. Okay, what's in here? Oh, rock candy, we will, we will take that. Um, we're gonna, we have Geno Boost. Actually, we'll get rid of the ice bomb. I was more likely to use it than the other thing. That did not mean I was ever actually going to use it. What's in here? Max Mushroom. We will toss one of these mid mushrooms for it. Okay. What is in here? A flower. Okay. Oh, get away from me! Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Nine chances. Get through this room. Doing, we're doing all right. I could be doing a heck of a lot worse. Oh my god. Oh, we got another flower. <laughs> I can't check how many we have. I think we have like 90, 93, 94. If we don't hit the max, it's whatever. I, I don't care. Oh my god. Okay, this one is not the worst it could be. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, we, we, we got the flower. Um, okay. I don't know if it was worth using a shot. Oh my god, please. Please don't let me screw this up now, please! Uh, okay, game, game, okay. No! Why, why did you do that? Please, no! Oh my god, I feel like this is a worse position than it was before! Oh my god, okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What's in here? A pick-me-up? Not really worth it. We've got 
We got Princess, if we need a revive. Truly. Okay. We're not gonna go for that other chest over there. It is not worth it. We Maybe we'll go for this one. Oh my god, please do not die on me, Mario. Ah. Uh. Not risking it. Okay, we're gonna move on. And here we got the Sonic symbol, which is Mallow's best weapon in the game. That means the only best weapon in the game we are missing right now is Geno's, which hopefully I will find it the next room we try. Okay, um, let's try four. Another battle room. Okay, let's go. You guys are getting a deluxe-sized episode this time. I've been recording for way longer than I normally am. Okay, uh, you know what? We haven't shown off Ultra Jump either. Let's let's show it off. It's just Super Jump, but Mario moves around a lot more. It's not the most interesting thing. The annoying part is you can't control where it goes, so like you can try and hit all enemies, but like I don't think we fit that back. Yeah, we didn't hit that one in the back left corner, so like I don't know. It's not. I would rather just use Super Jump than do that, but I guess it's an option if you really want it. There's Bowser's best weapon, which, you know what? We will swap M Mallow in for Geno to show off his best weapon, which honestly, one of the greatest weapons of all time. Sonic symbols, let's show it off. All right, what are we fighting next? <laughs> More of these Koopas. All right, get rid of this guy. Bowser's scaring the monster. Um, you know what? We will just have Bowser block so Mallow can go and warp reality with his symbols. I... I love this game. Like, I cannot... I can't emphasize that enough. This game's great. <laughs> I can't... I can't wait to see how they do Sonic symbols in the remake. Reality warping symbols. I just... The, also, just the fact that he has symbols as one of his weapon types in general is just hilarious to me. I don't think we've seen this enemy before. No, we have. It just looked different on the overworld. Cool. Alright, that battle wasn't very interesting. What about this one? Will it be? Probably not! <laughs> Would you look at that? It wasn't. Alright, moving on. What about here? Ooh, god. Not, not the piranha plants. I remember Bean Valley. I have flashbacks to that. I hate it. Get out of here. I got so in the zone there, I didn't even say anything approaching that enemy. My my bad. I forgot I was recording. Oh good, these mushrooms that we haven't seen in a million years. We can get room before they turn us into mushrooms, because that sucks. Uh, get out of here. Drill Claw. I don't really understand how the Drill Claw works. I assume it's like a glove kind of thing that Bowser actually puts on, and it's not just that his nails are spinning because that I think that would hurt like I'm not an expert on Koopa biology but I just feel like that would hurt but what do I know ooh we've got Greeper and Glum Reaper this one put on a white bathrobe instead of a tan one it decided it wanted a slightly different wardrobe is it gonna do anything no nope, this is the same kind of moves that the other one has you can't expect too much different from him. This one's gonna hit Mario in the head with a giant crystal. That is just rude, sir. Get out of here. Bowser. Just because we're fighting enemies from the sunken ship does not mean I want a sunken ship situation. I'm shaking my head. We're not doubling our coins. I think at this point we're probably at max. We're real close! <laughs> Which- how many flowers do we have? 95, wow. Right, next- next batch of battles. Oh good, the fireballs are back. They're still not very interesting. What about here? Ooh, Lakitu. I don't think- I mean, we could have fought Lakitu back in, like, Booster Pass and we didn't, so I guess this is mildly more interesting. I mean, we're still gonna immediately murder them because they're- it's not like they scale to our current level. Could you imagine, though? Like, this, this whole thing just being, like, the worst gauntlet ever? My god. We're gonna warp reality around this Lakitu, and it's gonna die. 
I mean, I would probably die too if someone smashed me over the head with a reality warping musical instrument, particularly if it was a percussive instrument. Oh God, Zio is back! Stronger than before, baby! See, despite how that song goes, they were in fact not stronger than before. It was kind of disappointing. This is a lot of them, okay. Oh, wow, that was the end of that. I thought there was going to be a, a tougher thing to fight at the end of that. I think I was confusing it with the demon. Uh, in any case, for doing all that, we get the star gun, which is Gino's best weapon in the game. We're going to go ahead and equip to him. And with all that, I think that's where we're going to call it an episode. You may be like, there's two other rooms you could have done. Um, yeah. Uh... I might show them off, but probably not. They're, they're puzzles. You get rock candies at the end of them. I can put links to the description of what they look like. Um, I just don't feel like going back to do them. You can call me lazy if you want. I don't really care. Uh, in any case, if you... I still don't have an outro, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for putting up with me, especially through this, uh, what is probably beefier than normal episode. I'm sure I cut out a lot of the battles, but like still been recording longer than I normally do, and uh, I hope you'll join me next time as we continue our way through Bowser's Keep. See you then! <laughs>